Welcome to the Alt Systems lesson on creating a mobile style guide. In this lesson, we'll cover the topics listed here, including how to create a new mobile style guide and a recap of applications delivered by front-end developers. The demo at the end of this lesson will show you how to implement these concepts in Alt Systems Service Studio. Here's a summary of the steps that we'll take to create a new mobile style guide. First, we'll download the pre-built Silk UI mobile style guide. Then, add references to your custom theme and patterns. Then, we'll change the theme and the name of the pre-built style guide. Then, add custom patterns to the style guide. And then, finally, move the new mobile style guide module to the style guide app. Front-end developers deliver three separate apps in all. The theme app with the theme module in it, the patterns app with the patterns module in it, and the mobile style guide app with the style guide itself and the template module. Now that we've covered the steps and some simple concepts, I'll show you how to create a mobile style guide in OutSystem Service Studio. Before we start to work in Service Studio, let's go to the OutSystem Silk UI webpage and download the mobile style guide module that we'll be working with. Go to the OutSystems webpage for Silk UI at silkui.outsystems.com. Then click on the Patterns page. When you're on the Patterns page, Scroll all the way down until you see the three buttons in the download section. The first one, the mobile cheat sheet, has all of the patterns and classes that we can use. Then, the mobile style guide button will allow us to download the module that we can reference or use as a starting point. Finally, if you're a designer, you can actually download the sketch files that have all of the Silk UI patterns available to customize them in the sketch tool. Let's go ahead and click on the Mobile Style Guide button to download it, and then we'll open it in Service Studio. Once we have the style guide downloaded, let's open this module and begin to make some changes. For the first step, we'll select the module name. We're going to change the name to App Underscore Style Guide. I've already created an application with a similar name, and later we'll move this module to that application. For the next step, Let's open the Manage Dependencies window. Here we'll find the producer modules for our custom theme and custom pattern. Since I have them named similar, I can search for APP underscore and find them very easily. I'll be sure to check both of them and click the OK button to make sure that they're added. For the next step, let's scroll down and find the theme that's applied to this module. We'll need to change this theme to our new theme that we've added the app underscore theme. Once we do that, you can see the changes here visually with the custom CSS that we've added. Now let's make one more change, changing the theme name to app underscore style guide. Once we've made that change, we'll go ahead and publish our changes to the application server. Back in our server environment, we can find our new module uploaded to the independent modules. When we open this, we can find the app style guide and move it to our application using the move to option link. This will open a new window and we can select our app style guide application. Once it's been moved, let's go back to the server environment and open the app style guide app to make sure that it's now part of our application. In our new app style guide that we've created, we have quite a few different UI flows here that we can examine and work with to create new applications. For example, under the interaction flow, here we have an example of a screen with a carousel pattern, as well as a calendar. You can use all of these patterns to jumpstart your own applications. I would encourage you to go through the demo once again and create your own app live style guide for building your applications.